guys, Mick again. Now it's time for part two to finish off these jerry can holders and get them mounted to the vehicle. So just a little side note when bolting these together that these Titan Tray Roller jerry can holders come with these retaining um, washers I guess to lock into the flat rack of the Titan Tray itself. So I'm actually using them as you can see here just to space them out so that way Right down the bottom here, I don't know, this might be a little bit hard to see today. If I can get it in the right light there. So that join there, it kind of spaces out that join. So as you can see like that. And it makes that kind of sit where it's supposed to. So and it be all solid like. So uh, with these, I'm just using those 8mm bolts with nylon nuts to bolt through the middle bit here where those pre-drilled holes are. And then you obviously drill those holes on the bottom here. I've just removed these rubber pads on here as I'm going to be putting that, that sheet that I showed you in the previous video be using that to kind of space up the bolts for the U-bolts, the nuts for the U-bolts and so so it doesn't rub through the jerry can itself so uh, yeah well, let's get to it, I'll bolt it to the car I have to get the Dremel out, I have to cut the U-bolts a bit shorter, they're too long uh, once all that's sorted out then I'll work out the padding side of things for the front section here from then, what we're doing going to the rear here I'll be removing these little pads as uh, they're not required at the moment. And I'll be again putting the foam sheeting on the bottom and probably on this side. If I have enough space I'll probably go this side too but we'll see how we go. Alright guys, so I've cut, the, cut off the U-bolts now, so as you can see, they're a hell of a lot shorter than what they were in the first video. So they're going to run through those holes there. At the moment, I'm just going to cut out the adhesive backing and pad out probably this side and the bottom. And then I'll see how the jerry cans fit.
get a rough idea. Bit of a sharpie. Spare bit of metal for a ruler, always helpful. Alright. The old scissors, go for the cut, see if it fits in there. Not good scissors. But I'll make it work. Pretty sure it's not the sailing off. Alright. Let's see. Does this fit? Beautiful. A little bit long. I'm just going to quickly cut that off a little edge here. See you know what? I'm going to find a sailing knife somewhere here. Actually, here we go. One right in. Easy. Don't know how good it's going to be. It looks a bit rusty. Nope. Work with what you got. first. Alright, now let's see how we're looking. Yep, that'll do. That'll work. Now what I'm going to do on this is I don't want to run up the whole way across, so obviously I'm not going to get the bolts in, so I've got to cut these down to little squares. Here's my little ruler gone. Here we go. That side. That side. All right. And chop out this one. Now this isn't 100% straight, but I'm not too fussed. Man, it's a jerry can holder. Not that ain't all about it. I'm just cutting through what I want to cut through. So that's a good start. That's pretty well going to sit in the bottom here. Um, any of the nuts that I'll be using. I don't actually have any spares here at the moment. Um, but yeah, they'll sit below that, and that should be enough to stop the jerry can rubbing. So, but obviously, I will test that. So, so yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. Now, I'm just going to do this side here as well. 
I'm not sure if I'm just going to do two strips either side here or if I just cover the whole thing so but we'll have a look see how we go oh well you may as well stick these down in here so it's just adhesive backing as you can see on here guys just peel it off stick it down done super simple it's a good way to stop any rubbing these are these are tall enough to stop anything from touching I reckon so uh, let's say we're in a pretty good spot with these there we go just gonna grab a nut to see where we sit with it yes I think this will work nicely that is sitting below that point which is good which means if I do it on the side here, I can test it with these now. Yeah, see, they're not going to touch either. Beautiful, beautiful, mate, beautiful. All right, let's um, do the other side there. I reckon I will just do the two strips, side the side. That one, that one. So we've got to work out the length of it. Not that difficult. Probably should have cut out the other side at the same time, but that's all right. What I'll do, do the bottom section first. And I can work out with these what I need, I reckon. That will work nicely. All right. All right, cool. This will work nicely. See, so if you can see some jerry can holders, guys. DIY is always a good fun way to go. At least you got something to show at the end of it. That one there. Okay. That end over here. You just need to cut that out. So. so I enjoy making things myself. And this is, I'll give you the total cost of this when I'm done. But, to give you an idea, those individual jerry can holders here, these ones, they were on clearance for 70 bucks each, in run from memory. So there's 140. And, um, so also, yeah, 140 bucks. So nuts and bolts, that type of thing. So there's no welding involved, which is really good. You could always weld these together if you wanted to. Make them a little bit stronger, a bit more permanent as such. Mount up. But yeah, I reckon you get away with this for about 160 bucks. Plus the frame sheeting here. Frame sheeting here is about 12 bucks. So 100, say, say around 170, and that should see you with a jerry can holder. All right. So there. Do this bit again. I just make sure this is sitting there all right, which it should be. Yep, nicely done. Actually, now that better than the other side. Again, side on that side. Yep, that'll work. The old metal bar ruler. I do actually have a ruler, I just haven't used it. Because it's hanging up over there and it's bloody long. A couple more lines. cut on the inside of these just because I'm a little bit more 
coming out slightly. Just because I'm a little bit slow. Okay. Don't need to be perfect, just needs to be functional. Remember that when you're making something yourself. Again, pretty bad lighting in here. Sorry, guys. Sun's coming in the direction I don't usually have it coming in. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, just a bit of adhesive padding on the bottom. Sorry that that's blown out a bit there guys, there we go, sunlight, sun's going away again because they're overcast clouds. So yeah, that there, the nuts will sit in these grooves. This is pretty dense foam, so it's not going to move. Then yeah, what I'll do, I'll just run some foam either side here. Jerry can will probably sit up against that and will be sweet. So that's for that side, then obviously I'll do the same for the back, I'm just going to run a whole sheet along the bottom and on the sides, just so it all sits nice and level. So, so I'm left with these bits of foam. So the right width, I can get them the right length, yeah, pretty close. And we'll get with this style here, here. Doesn't need to be perfect. What we got? Now we're using a sharpie. cut some out. I reckon I'll cut that other little bit that's sticking out on the board that bit of adhesive here from before. And I'll actually be able to use that too. side bolts here. Give it a bit of a test in a sec once I got it on there. So they're small enough, might be easier with the scissors, I think, this time. Yep. One. Two. Yeah. 
don't know if I'm going to need anything down the bottom here, but I'm just going to whack a jerry can in there just to test this first before I go any further. And see where we're at. So, the least rusty one. I'll slot this in here. Still plenty of space on the other side there too. Still not going to touch it. So. side and that'll keep that pretty secure as you can see that's not moving anyway so nice I'm happy with that that's pretty decent now, I do have some brand new jerry cans for these so definitely not going to be reusing these ones that's for sure but Yep. Perfect. No worries. Oh, I'm happy with that. That was a really good fit, actually. Do I like another one there? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put one over here as well. Bits here. Do need to put these on the other side though. So I'm going to sort this out over here. So I want to check this on the back end of these as well, so back end in. Yeah, so I might have to chuck. You yeah, have to put on the back side as well. Or it ain't gonna sit nice, so So for when you're doing the back section of this as well, you should just sort of Yeah, to a degree it works. Might actually be a better idea to go along this top edge. better. So you're sitting there nice and tight. Awesome. Awesome. I'm happy. Just make sure the front of that goes in there right as well. Should be the same deal. Should sit there nice. 
doesn't make a huge difference on the front. That's okay. You can still leave it there. I'll just wrap it up and back. All right. Let's go put it on. All right, guys. So here's the finished product. Looks like it's a little bit wonky there, but it's not. So yeah, that's it. I've, uh, I've mounted up these eye bolts just with a couple of 50 by 50 mil, three mil thick plates. Um, underneath, I have used the washer off of the eye bolts that come with this kit originally, and just a spring washer on there to hold it down. Got nylock nuts on the back. The front, I haven't done anything. I don't think they're going to come undone anyway because it'll be pretty secure. But what I'll do, I'll pop the jerry cans in and run the ratchet strap and show you it all complete. Alright guys, there you go. It's all hooked up. New jerry cans are test fitted. I did have to put some padding between. Like so. Otherwise it was pulling them towards each other and on a funny angle. But as you can see, that's not going anywhere. So I'm quite happy with that. It's worked out really well. So... And uh, yeah, that's that's it there. All done. So if you like what you've seen here today, uh, hit that like button, share it around. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And there'll be more videos coming up soon. Thanks, guys.